Everybody, I'm Zach. This is MetaZone, the YouTube channel dedicated to all things MetaZoo. Today we will be opening a first edition box of Seance. So a few changes they have from previous booster boxes besides new characters is they have these spell circles that you can kind of feel the little, I don't know if you can see those too well, they're little indentations there. That's kind of nice. Without further ado, I will introduce my host, the King Slayer, and we will bust right into this box. Okay. Really excited. I haven't really seen too many cards from this box, or from this set yet, um, besides the one you can see on like the pack art and everything. I've done my best to avoid showing or watching videos, as usual. I really do like the the color scheme going on here. Kind of got a purple, kind of got a purplish pink going on. Okay, so I mixed the packs up a little bit. Uh, let's do that. Do a little bit of that, and let's start. Okay, so first pack we have the Devil Guy. Very nice. Again, I have. I've done very, I've been very diligent not to watch any, any, uh, any videos. One, two, three, four. Let's see if it's a four still. Yep, still four. So we have the Spirit Storm, Dubuque Token, got the Desert, Flame Aura, Alaskan Platypus, Habitat, got a Scribe by Fire. Interesting. I don't think I've seen a Scribe book or a Scribe Scribe page yet. The moon. Okay, so that's a um, that's a uh, a Terra, which I'm going to be opening that box here soon. <clears throat> Not this video, but another one. A Chibi Babe, the Blue Ox, Hag of Detroit. We have a Tokum Plasma Pool. That's funny. I wonder what that is. And another Hag of Detroit, Reverse Hollow. Very nice. All right, set that up there. So this is my first box of Seance. Um, I've not seen. I've seen a, a serialized card pull already, so we have the Chassis Gallery, very nice. Investigating Policeman Token, Island, Flame Aura, Boat Hound, wow, interesting. Ectoplasmic Sludge, we got some Scry by Fire, Materialize, really cool card, I like the colors on it. All Hallows Eve, of course, Permanent Possession, really creepy looking card. Token Plasma Pool and a Reverse Hollow Drowned Pianist. Alright. Oh, I'm going to set the rares aside as well. Alright, so what are we looking for in this set? Um, well, I checked my, you know, MetaZoo HQ as always. It's my go-to site for finding MetaZoo stuff. Uh, ooh, Calcified Dunes Orb. And essentially, I, they, they don't have the Hateful Eight up yet, but they're going to put it up eventually all i know is that there's a possessed aura that's all i know the dark black dog of hanging hills very nice that's a pack art uh, martian bees the fool another tarot card and we have a reverse hollow our first reverse hollow rare um natural chaos orb very nice i'll set that aside so, yes, yeah, so the only one I know of is the Possessed Aura, and that is going for a lot of money on the secondary market currently. I think it's going for about the same as the Neutrality Token, or Neutrality Aura, as well as the uh, Prism Aura. Casey Jones. John King Materialized Token. Lake, Earth Aura, Black Mass, Ectoplasm, very nice. Scorched Page, Witch's Blight, Element 115. Reminds me of Lilo and Stitch. Experiment. Experiment 115. Uh, Phantom Steamboat of Stombury. The World, so that's another card that utilizes tarot cards. And a reverse hollow DC, the Demon Cat. Very nice. So we got the Possessed Aura. <coughs> or we won a Possessed Aura. But another thing going on with this set that's really interesting is mapping. So essentially... What people are doing is they're figuring out that certain cards come in in a certain format this set. Natural Chaos Orb, non-hollow. Um, and what they do is they will pull, they'll open a box and pull all the hits 
and then take all the reverse hollows. Ooh, revert speaking of which, a glacial demon reverse hollow, rare. And they'll take all the hits out of the box and then give it uh, a sell them, sell them online. So essentially, we have packs that are hot and packs that are cold. So it's like a three to one ratio, if I remember correctly. It's like for every third pack, or every fourth pack, rather. Uh, oh, hey. There's a, um, there, there's a hollow or full hollow or rare, depending on which. But every fourth pack is not a hit. That's the idea. <coughs> so you gotta be careful when you're buying from people online. You wanna make sure you're not buying a cold pack. Um, which is great because now if you're a collector, you just buy hot packs. You'll pay a little bit more. You know, you'll pay a premium for those packs, of course. But you'll turn around and you'll go ahead and you'll build your collection a bit quicker. Reverse Hollow Boojum. Boojum. I really like that card. Looks like a. Reminds me of like a relaxed wizard. Just floating on a giant. Looks like a giant leaf. Yeah. Just floating on a giant leaf. He's just chilling. He's just chilling. Yes, so if you're a collector, go ahead and buy those hot packs. And if you're just trying to complete a collection, you can get cold packs on purpose to make sure you get your reverse hollows in there, things of that nature. Get all your bronzes and everything, your silvers. Um, word on the street is this is the pack that has the hits. Anything with this devil guy on the front. I don't know how true that is, I, I didn't want to test it on this video. Um, I've seen other people do it though. I've seen other videos. Uh, but go ahead and watch a few more box openings of this and give me an idea, you know. Go ahead and leave a comment below and tell me if you've noticed it as well. Reverse Hollow Alaskan Platypus. I already pulled that guy, but that's the Reverse Hollow. Nice. So let's see. Let's test it out with this guy. So apparently, in theory, there should be a hit on this pack. So let's see any hits. Now when I say hit, I think I'm I think they mean just rare. So anything with the gold rarity. Let's go ahead and bust right through these and drop that card. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. Yeah, so there's the frost shield. That's a rare. It's a reverse hollow rare, but it's still a rare nonetheless, so. Again, I'll, I'll point it out to you guys. This isn't the same pack, so I'll point it out to you guys when we start opening those. Those uh, Devil Guy packs. Sentry Devil, I believe his name is. Alright, so the Ghost of Sloss Furnaces. Very nice. Oh, I like that art. I really like that art. City of Spirits. Huh. Light Aura. Nice. Yeah, I'm just trying to take in some of the art, too. A lot of these tarot cards that are cards that utilize tarot in here. A lot of them. <laughs> Black helicopter. So that was a that was a silver rare. Um, and that wasn't the devil the devil pack. So I think there is something to that. So keep definitely keep an eye out. Just stay safe. It's not really. I don't really mind. I kind of enjoy this honestly. The fact that they've done that. You know, that makes it easier for me to pick up my rares if I need them or if I just want rares uh, to collect, send off to PSA or whatnot. Yep. So there's another silver, and that wasn't a, a devil pack. Black Dog of Hanging Hills, very nice. Let's switch on through. <clears throat> I have it. Oh, when I say devil, I don't mean this guy. I definitely mean the Sentry Devil. I think he's called a Sentry Devil is what he is. A lot of devils in this deck. So last set, or not the last set, the set before the last set, Wilderness, we had a lot of different types of Sasquashes. So that's... This this one must have a lot of different types of devils. Locked contract, look at him. Looks like a saw situation. The saw your own leg off to get out. Yeah, so there's another bronze. Reverse hollow, Wintasser. Wintasser? Wint, Wintasser. All right, so this is the Sentry Devil pack, so let's take a look. Again, I don't know if this was intentional. I doubt it was. Um, I think it makes it fun. Honestly, I think it makes it easier. Ooh, the wing off. I think it makes it much easier to get the cards that you want than the ones you don't want. Uh, yeah, that's a gold. 
Yep, that was out of the double pack. Getting a lot of reverse hollows. Actually, so far, this whole thing has been reverse hollows. Huh. People have said that they can potentially map the boxes as well. I don't... I don't know how true that is. You know, and that would just be a dang shame. I doubt it. But if I got all reverse hollows in this box, I mean... I'll open another box for sure. Not on this video, but I will be opening another box soon. Um... And that'll give us an idea. Yep, there's a silver. There's a silver, Wingok. I was actually uh, watching one of Argos's videos here recently. I got in there on the chat, um, and he started calling me because I asked. I bought a hot pack from him, so he started calling me Hot Pack Zach. <clears throat> hot Pack Zach, baby. Just go for them hot packs. Actually, I think what I'll do is I will set aside all the hot packs. So those packs are all considered to be hot. Alright. Let's take a look. Yep, it's hot pack Zach, baby. Hot pack. Whew! Okay. So I'll finish up with these and then we'll do the hot packs. So I don't know about any of you, whenever a new set comes out, I try to complete my collection. Ooh, I think I did five, I wanted four. I try to complete my collection as soon as possible and then move on because um, it's kind of hard. You know, it's kind of hard to collect all these cards in EVP. I really like that. They have the EMP, EVP, um, poltergeist type of cards I like that. The possession of people and objects, especially electronic objects. Okay, okay, so this wasn't... No, 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 so this wasn't a, um... A Sentry Devil. This was a normal... Dog pack. So... There's Houdini's hat, Reverse Hollow. I am getting all Reverse Hollows, but yes, so it's not entirely... Set in stone. So maybe it's not all Sentry Packs. See, maybe I was misinformed. Alright. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we have the Glacial Demon. Photograph token. Da, da, da. I'm gonna give a quick plug real quick. Uh, not that he needs it. Pokikai, he has a promotion going on on his website. The Boathound Reverse Hollow. He has a promotion going on on his website where he will actually send you another booster box. So if you get a box and it's all Reverse Hollows, he'll send you another box. Um, and that's really cool. I'm going to utilize that here soon. I don't think he's going to do that forever. And if he doesn't, I don't blame him because, you know, you got to keep the lights on. But, um, Ice Worm, the fool. Okay, that was another one that it was a, it was an actual devil, not a Sentry Devil pack. But it's still, this is a reverse hollow heavy de uh, box. I've been pulling nothing but reverse hollows. So, my reverse hollow game is going to be super strong. I'm going to have all the reverse hollows I need. But I've seen a lot of crazy stuff going on with these boxes. Like, I've seen people pull in five prism auras in one box. I mean, I can't imagine. Uh, the, and that's really the card to go after is the prism aura. Or not the prism aura, possessed aura. Tell them, thinking about uh, <coughs> wilderness over here. Been opening a lot of that, too. The reverse hollow black dot. All right, let's open this bad boy here. So that's a dog pack. Let's see. Nice, the Reaper's Crown. That's a cool card. That's a good card to have. I like the Frost Shield, the Reaper's Crown, Sam's Scarf. I think Sam's Bat is another card in this deck. Or in this set. Reverse Hollow. <laughs> Bourgeoisie Birds. The birds work for the Bourgeoisie. Reagan killed him, I think. Reagan killed all those birds. Alright, so we have the Chassis Gallery. There we go. Bone Token. Drowned Pianist. Ooh, Stickman of Clark County. Looks like he's doing something bad. Got a spotlight on him. Talking Board. So, uh, speaking of Talking Board, this set was actually supposed to be called Ouija. Like a Ouija board. But I guess they must have changed it maybe last second. Um, 
but it was scheduled for October 20th, 2022. Ooh, they got a planchette. Ouija board. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyways, they changed the name of the set from Ouija to Seance. And it's worked out pretty well. I mean, there you go. So, so there it is, another rare. Again, super reverse hollow heavy. I have not had a full hollow card hit yet. That would have been nice to get like one or two maybe. So there's still quite a few packs to open up here, so there's still a chance. But man, I'm not seeing any. I'm not seeing too many here. All right, let's get through those. The heat lightning orb, very nice. Get that. This, <laughs> the, the burning effigies. It's injured cold. All right, and we have a reverse hollow bourgeoisie. The bourgeoisie, the bourgeoisie birds. That's interesting, so since I'm pulling rares from this pile, I wonder what I'm gonna pull from that pile. I wonder if it's all completely random and it's just a rumor somebody made up, you know? Copenhagen Devil. There's only one way to dispel the rumor though. Try it out yourself. See your reverse hollow heat lightning orb. Very nice. Very, very nice. Another interesting thing about this set uh, that I've heard is not that I've heard, that I know is that the print run has been reduced greatly. So I think they cut it in half. So I think Wilderness was 50,000. Pretty sure that um, UFO was 50,000. And now they turned around and they cut it in half. So this is about 25,000. DC the Demon Cat. You know, I haven't seen any secret rares. No, I think I've seen one or two. Yeah, actually, he's a secret rare. This is the Sentry Box Devil, I think his name is. He's a secret rare. Casey Jones. Casey Jones. You'll hear the sound of Whooper Will. Well, poor Will whistle before you see him. His sacrifice to save others during a train collision earned him a fiery spark in the afterlife. Oh, that's cool. Cool thing about these cards, um, especially cards like this, if there's a card that gets a boost from a train, and I play, and you're my opponent, you have a card that gets a boost from a train, and I play this card, you will get a boost from the train in this card. As far as I know, that's one of the fourth wall mechanics. So that's a cool little little tidbit. It makes the game more complex too. Tommy Knocker. Uh, it makes the game more complex too, in the sense of you really need not only need to be paying attention to your own cards, but that of your opponents, and even like T-shirts and stuff they're wearing. You know, things on their person. Uh, hey. Speak and you shall receive the sentry box devil. I think that was his name. So there he is. So he's your lucky guy. He's the one that'll get you the hits. So I've heard. So far, that's been not very true. Ooh, a burned cross ghost. Interesting. Um, so far, that's not been true. At least in my case. So I don't think I've fully disbanded it myself. But there is something to the to the way these packs have been put in. Something strange to it, Cisco Grove Entities. Very nice. Let's go through these real quick. And we got a bourgeoisie bird. I got plenty of those, man. I'm, I'm bourgeoisie heavy. I'm heavy on the bourgeoisie. Oh, yeah. I'm heavy on the bourgeoisie. Okay. Yeah, four. Alaskan Ice Monster. Very nice. Got some chessy vibes there. Some Lapras vibes. All right, so we got a uh, reverse hollow jagged peaks orb. That's a gold rarity. And then we're gonna go ahead and open up the last devil, and then we'll do the sentry box devils. Okay, four. Pull her over. Medium's crystal eye. So cool. I, I really, I'm really enjoying the uh, the item cards they're having here. That makes it much more fun. I don't know why. I just I see them in other games, and I'm like, oh, those are so sick. But uh, yep, verse hollow the bets sphere. It's funny. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do our sentry double packs. I got five here. Let's see if they're hot packs. Come on, baby. 
<coughs> Want some hot pack Zach magic? You hot pack Zach. All right, so Casey Jones, you're gonna start us off. We're gonna skip right on through. All right, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a reverse hollow rare mediums crystal eye. All right, so another sentry box. Hmm. One, two, three, four, four. Oh dear God, I can't count. Immediate Houdini's hat, very nice. We'll just skip right through, show the art, show the art. The camera loves you, darling. And a, oh, that one's a silver rarity. The kind ghost, see? Oh, he's holding a spook, a spook light. <laughs> I really like that, that's cool. It's a nice little thing. So it's not consistent. It's definitely not consistent. Um, it's it's not confirmed that it's just these packs. I think it's the way it's set up in the box itself. Um, yeah, that's that's really the only way to know for sure whether or not it's seated in a certain specific manner. But either way, it's still fun to open these boxes. <laughs> Reverse hollow. Look at the foiling on that. He's like. It's so, he's so tiny to get the reverse hollow foiling on him is uh is hard. That's funny. Doesn't take much. Doesn't take much. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're starting off with the brown mountain lights. I like that. We'll skip on through here. Oh, is that a chibi? Chibi Salem switch. Nice. Alright, and the reverse hollow calcified dunes orb. It is a rare. Um, but it's inconsistent. It's inconclusive. One full hollow would be nice. One full hollow. Just one, baby. Just one. Ooh, basket. Basket Ogress. Nice. That's on the, uh, release event box. <clears throat> okay, okay, one full. One full. One full hollow. No full hollows. But it did seem, so, final thoughts, it's appeared that the Sentry Devil packs do tend, not always, but do tend to hold more full, not full hollow, but uh, gold rarity hollows. Whether it's full or reverse is yet to be determined, but it really does appear to be that these are the type of cards that come in those packs. Uh, that being said, if somebody's selling you a pack, try to buy a Sentry Devil box is what it appears to be. Uh, but don't take my advice. I'm just some guy on YouTube. I'm not a MetaZoo person. I, I don't work for MetaZoo. I just uh, buy the cards. So another thing I'm going to talk about real quick is the reserved list. Um, it would appear that the type of cards they're putting on the reserve list are these type of cards that affect aura. Well, this one doesn't say it affects aura. But still, these orbs, shards, crystals, things of that nature keep going onto the reserve list, which is cool. You know, they put the prism aura on there from what I've seen, which is nice, but then that card just became not only more valuable from a collector's perspective, but even from the playing perspective. If I remember correctly, you can tap it to have any type of aura, pay, aura come out, which is super useful. So that's, that's difficult because we're not going to see a card like that ever again. A functionally similar card. So that function is no longer allowed in the game. At least for an aura page like that. They can do it on beasties, they can do it on uh, artifacts, I imagine, but not auras. There's never going to be an aura that could do that ever again, which is cool. Um, but again, it, it just shifts the balance of collectability, it shifts the balance of playability. It's going to be really hard to get a hold of that card now because it's on the reserve list. But Mike did say at some point um, what they're going to do is instead of just banning cards because that's another thing that i don't hear a lot of people discussing is banning of cards <clears throat> so mike's goal isn't to ban cards but what he wants to do is just make them non-usable so let's say there's an aura type with a certain strategy that works really really well 
like it just blows the game out of proportion, right? What he can do is he can change the meta of the game to the point that... For instance, let's say you make like a mill deck. I don't even... I don't even think I've seen one yet. But let's say you make like a mill deck or something. Or Snipe, for instance. That's a really good card as an example. You essentially make the ability of Snipe no longer usable. You know, everybody has a card to defend, defend against Snipe, so much so that if you play Snipe, well, you might as well not just play Snipe. Uh, I think that's the route they're going to go. They're not going to make it... They're not going to make banning cards a thing, which also adds into this idea of why they... They have to think very carefully about when they put their cards out. They have to make sure the meta of the game is still ba well balanced and not to the point that they feel like they have to ban or, you know, change things too much to where the game doesn't become fun. But I like the idea of the reserved list. I know a lot of people, some people are against it. And I like the idea of not banning cards. I think that's another cool feature because even if a card's on the reserved list and we don't see it for another 20 years, um, you can still play that card. It's not like it's reserved and banned. You know, it's just on the on the reserve list, and I really appreciate that. So, anyways, that's all I have to say for today. I'm I'm now gonna be known as Hot Pack Zach. I'm uh, I'm Hot Pack Zach. Oh, you all have a good day.